It's Mr. Popsit here. One of the most common questions I get outside of what sunblock should I use is what nighttime cream I can use to make my skin look more refreshed and look better, especially if I'm not oily and I'm not breaking out um, and I don't want a prescription strength retinoid. I introduce to you Retinol Advanced by Isden. I'm gonna break down in the description, there's a longer video on why this is so good and everything they packed in here. If you wanna hear more about it, click the link in the description. If you just wanna get on to the next video, let's get going. Thanks for popping by. You hanging in there, doing okay? Yeah. All right, man, you're doing great. I know that's not easy. Might wanna come on the other side for this. Yeah. Okay, so when we stretch the lip here, we can see these little blackheads all along there. You can literally use your finger pads. They are drying up some more so than they were just 10 days ago because of that retinoid. Just got to get right under and come from the bottom and roll it. They pop right out like that with a hair in them. And the key to doing this with minimal pain is really knowing the angles and exactly where to kind of pinch, making sure your gloves and your tips are dry and opening the pore correctly with minimal scarring on the, in, on the skin at all. So that's good. Got one almost out right there. I want to get it. Didn't want to leave that last bit. A lot of people say he's leaving everything in the bottom. That's what I'm going for right there. And we got it here and pop this one. A couple dry ones there. We'll get this cluster and then we're going to come up to the forehead. Open a couple of these pores here. Okay, just a couple. Hand squeezes here for these. These are those kind of bigger plugs. So when we push, I usually push against one on the cotton tip applicator. So you kind of set it and then get under here and just roll right up and you'll see those roll out. Turn a little bit. There we go. Very good. And you can pull the skin literally and see what's left and what isn't. Let's have one with the hair right there. There it comes. Very good. A little bit left in the bottom of that one still. Got it. Kind of a long stringer on that one. Okay, doing great. So, these. It doesn't take much in the pour there just to break that kind of dry seal. And that big, he had such a big one, half the size of the one that was on his jaw right now um, that we opened up. That you can see here, did very well. That went down nice. And we'll come right here in the middle on that big one first. Okay. 
Now when you have somebody that's really oily, you can see that build up. That's when they start slipping. So it's good to change them out every couple. see sorry <laughs> all these different angles that we're doing got it okay that's looking good a couple inflammatory ones here some good blackheads there Just open those couple and then we'll come up to the forehead. One there. So a lot of people will ask, you know, hey, he's skipping some. Why is he going to that one or this one? And I'm looking for ones that really have the potential to become these inflammatory ones or that may be closer to becoming the inflammatory ones. And some of the obvious blackheads that are right at the surface so that's why the ones I choose so we can minimize this inflammation. But I can tell after one or two sessions how much new inflammation I'm getting each week if we're gonna need to up the ante to something that's a systemic retinoid. So, and you know, he's got quite a bit of inflammation. We're gonna see how he does post this one and make the call after one more. But I have a feeling He's had family members that have needed it, Accutane in the past as well, so it's a common thing. That's good. So you'll see how dry these get a lot of times. They'll come out with the needle like a little plug, just like that. Okay, so this is a pretty basic loop extractor. And when we have this bony prominence behind us, we just come through and you can press there. When they're drying out, it can be a little tender on these. So that's why we'll sometimes switch to the tips too, but this does a pretty good job usually. And we can really focus down just in a one to two millimeter area as well. He is drying out nice though. I can see the difference just from our last session. They're harder to come out, which is good. That's what we want. That means the retinoid is working. These are all pretty dry. I might save for the topical to dissolve them because they don't come out very well. They're really dry through here. Come up here to these. That light's kind of shiny. He's got a lot of little tiny ones through here. If we can do just some focused, get under them there and get some of these out for him like that. When they're dry, actually, that loop extractor, you know, this is coming from the side and up. The loop extractor is going down on the bone below it. It can actually be pretty tender. And I could tell by how much I was going to need to push 
that the loop extractor was not the best for that area with the amount of dryness we have from the retinoid. So we switch up. That's why there's no one best technique. We use different techniques for different areas, even one inch to the left or right in certain areas, there might be something better than what you're doing in the current area. And being in tune with that and the patient's reaction and the patient's pain is the most important thing. Because if I'm just causing him very, very severe pain right off the get-go, we're not going to be able to do 125 of these. He'll be taxed out like at 30. <laughs> So you want to make sure the patient can tolerate it so we can get them done. That's good. They're coming out pretty well with this. Very focused. Just a couple more and we're done. We just have a couple more. I just want to get this central area here because it's what you see when you look in the mirror. That's looking a lot better. It's got a lot down there, but. It'll come out. One more big one right there. Sorry, a little pressure. Just a couple small ones right there. I don't want to go down in this area and start pushing real hard, so we're going to let the retinoid get some of those too. And I think that's pretty good for today. So I am going to give him a little injection on this inflammatory one, just like we did on this one. It should bring that down within a week or so. Um, here, I think he's going to be good. Everything's already starting to heal on that. You can see the redness going down. And on the side here, he's getting shiny skin. It's tightening up. That's a good sign. Um, he's got some leaking and some pockets, just like the big one that we did down here. Um, but, you know, that's what's going to start drying up with the antibiotic, the retinoid, and continually doing this and kind of open up the pores and a couple focused injections. So what we'll do is have him back kind of quick in just a week. Every time I'm scanning, I just see a couple more. <laughs> I'm not too worried about all these little tiny ones. I like to get the big ones there so we don't get that. So um, that's good for today. We put them through it again and you can come up here. So, and we're going to call that tough guy acne number two, like I said, because he is tough. That is not easy. There's a lot of grown men that can't handle that and women because um, it's painful, but he's in, he wants to get better. He's excited to get better. Um, he's excited to see his videos. So um, we're going to keep going and then transition possibly to some different treatments depending on how well after the third one he does. So thanks to him for sharing and going through that and thanks for popping by. I like to show the different techniques that we do in different areas and this is a perfect example when you have all the different types of acne in different parts of the face. Sometimes we'll just get bad on the forehead or just bad around the lips. When you have somebody that's all encompassing with all different types in all different areas, you can really use all the techniques that we use. So injections, you know, using all the different tools. So thanks again. We took some shrapnel today, but that's normal, par for the course. That's why we wash our scrubs. <laughs> so you guys have a good night.